Oh hello, today I'm going to teach you how to inject any GLP-1 medication safely and correctly from an auto-injector pen. Okay, so here are the needles, they are 4mm and they fit onto the pen directly. So I'm just going to get a new one out of the box. You have to get a new one every time you inject, so whether that's every day or every week you should be using a new one mainly hygiene reasons but also for you don't want to have like stuff in the needle to be blocking it so I have two pens in the fridge at every time this is the one I'm going to use so take the cover off the end of the needle and then take the lid off of the pen and you just need to screw it on just like I'm showing you here make sure it's on all the way there we go and get your sharp spin ready I leave it sort of halfway open because you don't want to close it completely. Now I'm going to start from zero and I'm going to turn it all the way so that I get to my required dose. For these pens you have one dose per pen whereas I know Sixenda you have like increments you can go up in so just choose the dose that you are on. Basically then you next need to choose your injection site. I personally don't go for my thigh it's just a more difficult area to do and you can also go for your bum or your arms but I mean who's going there make sure you don't go around your belly button it's got a blood supply to it you don't want to end up injecting into your blood I personally go for my tummy number one because it's like in arm's reach I can use two arms to get to it number two there is plenty of fat there and number three I don't need to rotate injection sites because I'm not using insulin take off the two caps and it should have the little needle poking out the end make sure it's not damaged it might have a little bleb at the end of it and that's completely fine it's not wasting any of the medication it's literally the tiniest amount so next I'm going to grab my fat I've got plenty of it so I don't need, really need to grab it but I like to and just pop the it doesn't matter what speed you put it in the abdomen is like a very non-sensitive area so you can just shove it in it shouldn't hurt too much and then make sure that you can see the counter going down and then press it until it goes down you do want to make sure you're holding it in a certain way though when you are injecting you want to make sure that you are holding it so that your fingers are not obstructing the little counter mechanism which shows you what dose you're choosing and that you are facing the counter towards you so that you can see it going down as you inject. Then just take it out. You might have a little bit of bleeding or a little bit of the medication around your tummy. That's completely fine. Cover yourself back up if you fancy or just remain naked. And then, like I said, you might get this bleb at the end as well and that is completely fine. You don't need to put it back in or press anymore. Just put the lid back on now I personally just put it on like that but I know that it does say in the safety leaflet to sort of put it on the side and push the pen into it so that you don't inject or put the needle into your finger you don't need to put both caps back on by the way just the bigger one and then just screw it off make sure you do put the cap back on otherwise you could end up needle sticking yourself which isn't a disaster if it's your own needle but it's not ideal and then grab your sharp spin and make sure that you're putting it in that way round, not the other way. Otherwise you could end up needle sticking yourself and then just put it in and then just close it not fully because otherwise you won't be able to open it. They do have a locking mechanism on the front and then just put it away somewhere safe. Um, I just put it in a cupboard somewhere your child isn't going to get hold of it and then put the lid back on and put it back in the fridge. And there you go. You are done for another week or day if you're depending on how frequently you're injecting give my channel a subscribe for more stuff about weight loss and following my journey on wagovi thank you so much for watching bye